we are ready to set our pumps. So we're gonna have three of these 12 pin pumps in this feature. So these are big dogs. These are gonna be pushing a lot of water. Hey, Bri. Yeah, bud. Guess what? There's uh, another seam to do. Yes! <laughs> a lot of people ride across the US, but Brian is seaming his way across That's right. the US. <laughs> build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey, good morning everybody. It's day two out here. Welcome back. We're rocking it. It's rainy, it's cold, and the first thing we wanted to do this morning was get that seam done, and it's just sucking. It's so hard. It's not hard because of the location. It's hard because of the rain. We have a little tiny tarp to hang over me as I'm doing this, but I've got it down. You can see all the puddles of water and everything, and the problem is is just enough condensation in the air. It's not really a rain, it's like a mist. So I can only do like like three feet of the seam at a time. But I got the one part down. Now I'm gonna take this liner, I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna seam that liner to this liner and then I come over the top with my cover tape. As soon as I get that done, which is probably gonna take me about an hour, then we can come in here and start rocking in the rest of that stream. So uh, wish me luck. Good luck, Brian. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> wish me luck and uh, we'll see if we can't get this thing going today. Bye. Lunch. Oh, All right. good. You know, I'm so glad that Great Lakes Pondscape showed up to bring us lunch today. <laughs> Those guys are amazing. Look at this. Sandwiches, salads. Look at all that. Oh, yeah. Pickles. More sandwiches. All from that guy. How you guys doing? <laughs> you guys, I just thought it was important that you know when we do these travel projects, stuff like this actually a means a lot to us, Especially right? In the rain. Yeah. And those customers out there that are watching this, they know. They take no. They take no. They take no. <laughs> it's raining, it's miserable, and stuff like that makes it all worthwhile, right? And the three dozen cookies and a cooler full of Gatorade and water and yep. coffee in the morning. Where's our coffee station? Is it inside there? It's over there. Coffee station. <laughs> awesome. Jack, buddy, it's after lunchtime. I'm on my fifth cup of coffee. <laughs> like the cold is just going right to your bones today. It's right? damp and it's, I feel bad for you actually today <laughs> with that seam you're working on up there. That's crazy. I mean, watching Ralph and Eric hold the tarp over you while you're doing like <laughs> this much seam at a time, but you got it done, which it's, is awesome. It's done. It's a little bit later in the day than we would like it to be. Yesterday, I know when we were wrapping up, we were hoping we'd hit that seam, get that done in an hour yeah. and then start rocking that in. And now it's past lunch lunch and we've just finished the seam but what I want to get done is Alan and I are gonna get the outcroppings done on this left side of this bottom waterfall which is looking fantastic oh, right so good the reservoir looks great I think if you and Ralph just start dropping in all the frame stuff in the stream yep. we'll get where we wanted to go it's just not in the time frame we were thinking so seam is done you can see Jack and Alan have buttoned up a lot of stuff down here in the bottom my Ralph and I worked on the seam so now we can get back up in there we'll start rocking that in and uh, off we go it's one rock at a time
everybody's doing something. Ralph's down here, just about ready to work on the pumps. Ralph, what do we got going on here? Uh, we are ready to set our pumps. So we're gonna have three of these 12 pin pumps in this feature. These are the big boys. These are the professional grade pumps, pumping approximately 10,000 gallons an hour. Now, what we are going to do is get those dropped in. So a couple things that we do to hook these up, we've got this three inch MPT. That gets threaded in right like that. And then we'll have a rigid piece of pipe. This is our three inch flex. This is great going from the vault to our spillway or bog or wetland, whatever we're putting in. But what we wanna do is have rigid pipes. So that's that hard PVC. That's gonna come straight up. See, this is, has a little bit of a flex bend in it. When we use that hard rigid pipe, it's nice and straight. Then we glue that into our three inch check valve. This is one of the big boys. So what happens inside of here, this check valve keeps water in the pipe. There's a little flap in here. So when the pump is pushing water, that flap is open like this. And when it turns off, that flap slams shut, holds all that water in the line and up in the wetland area. Super important, especially with the wetland because the wetland's gonna hold like a thousand gallons of water or so. Exactly. And we don't want all of that water back flushing through the, the line coming back down into our vault, which would overflow our vault. Exactly. Now, a couple things to you know keep in mind when you're putting this pump in. You always want to check to make sure these rubber feet are on there. These are vibration dampeners and it helps also reduce noise, that hum that you might get from a pump. So these are big dogs. These are going to be pushing a lot of water and we want to keep that vibration under control because if there's too much of that vibration, you could actually cause a problem down in the bottom of your pump vault. Great. And so we've got three pumps going in two vaults. So this one here, you can see James has actually already gone on and cut out some areas for that three inch pipe to come in. So these two are gonna sit side by side like so. And then this one's gonna come out this way. And I think we'll end up just taking it out that way over there rather than throwing an elbow on it right away. I hate putting an elbow on the pump like so quick. It really reduces the flow quite a bit. And this is gonna allow us to get as much water, take that pump to its fullest potential. Yeah? Hey! Hey! <laughs> all right, let's get these all set up and then uh, we can probably start trenching our pipe shortly after that. That's right. Awesome. in you can see both these 12s are fitting in here snug we've got another one over here i don't know if you guys can see this we have a hole here and a hole here so what we're going to do is run all of our cords from here through this back out through this and then we want to run it in conduit remember this is a play area for kids and so we don't want any type of cords electric items or anything like that being exposed not only are we going to hide all of this stuff but you can see these cinder blocks back behind me we're basically going to build a cinder block wall around this and then james is going to go out and get a grate that can sit over the top which then we can dust with gravel we would not want to leave these lids sitting in here because i know kids being one myself at one point they'll come in here kick this stuff around this will go missing the little thing and they'll start dropping gravel in there so we want a big nice heavy metal grate right over the top the next step is to build this little wall support that grate and we'll be all set
gotten a lot of detail work done today, which pretty much means we got nothing done today, right, James? <laughs> That's not true, actually. James is putting the finishing touches on our vault surround, so this is gonna get a metal lid on it. Really, for ease of maintenance, also, we wanna make sure nobody can tamper with this. So there'll be kids and stuff here. You don't want them getting to the pumps and doing some sort of damage and vandalism, so there'll be a metal lid on here, maybe have a lock on it. Not sure how that's gonna work out exactly yet, but that's looking great. Only thing left to do in the reservoir is pretty much put the gravel in, and this thing is done. Got a lot of grading done as well. This whole side, I moved probably a good 60 or 70 yards of dirt over there that's starting to take shape now we have a whole berm built up for where our constructed wetland filter is and we got the entire stream area excavated right now alan is just putting in the liner for that we do have one more seam to do hey bry yeah but guess what there's uh, another seam to do yes <laughs> Brian and Ralph killed it today in the rain, seaming this liner. Came out fantastic. Super proud of you. I'm very proud. Thanks. Listen, wow. I'm proud of you. Oh, a, lot of you people, bye, bye, bye. a lot of people ride across the U.S., but Brian is seaming his way across That's right. the U.S. What's your next stop, bud? <laughs> I got a seaming tour, you know, in uh, Kalamazoo uh, tomorrow. Yeah, Kalamazoo. <laughs> I think Down for over at Western Michigan University for like a rainy, crappy day. I think we kicked some major butt today. We got a lot so done. Good. I mean, look at there's concrete footings in for the bridge we got some big rocks set in here this whole thing got excavated you just moved about 30 60 80 yards of soil yeah you know <laughs> plumbing plumbing we trenched all that pipe Pumps. the pump vaults are done yeah no i'm super proud of myself hey and ralph uh, <laughs> ralph spent the good part of the day just holding a tarp yeah that was which super is what fun. you're good for yeah yeah it's good. perfect <laughs> we found the perfect job for you actually tarp holder <laughs> all in all even with the weather and it's been freezing today with all that adversity i still couldn't imagine doing anything else i love working with these guys the creativity just flows throughout this group and it's showing on this project <laughs> this is a, this, i think that was a creative a kid show. explosion <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get that seam rocking in the morning and start setting some boulders and get this thing buttoned up see you tomorrow